Welcome back, loves. Big things are happening. So we had those trees bucked in the last video and Earthworks is here. So they came yesterday to start a little bit of work and then we ran into some pressure issues, but we have it all fixed and we have trees marked orange and progress is getting made. There's already a little pad down there. So I'll show you guys once a little bit more is done. at the lot after a full day of excavating we finally have our house pad it turned out way better than expected so props up to earthworks we even have a little pad back here for extra stuff in the corner that we weren't even expecting and then we left everything up above us jungle exactly how we wanted so i'll show you from the front of the property too so this is the driveway comes up to a spot where we hit blue lava, which is super hard. And it has a bunch of those green specks in it. The house is going to be on stilts from here to that corner, to that corner, to that corner, elevated up to that level. And you can walk off into our higher terrain in the property that we've started clearing. We have our mature avocado tree here. This is a mature guava tree. And this is a banyan tree. And then we have our spot in the back for an another building. And all of this area where Michael is will probably be part of the driveway and then lawn. And then the property goes way back to that little like clearing up there. And then way back there. So the part we have cleared is probably a quarter of the lot. And then these are guava, bird's nest fern, stupid albizia. And then we're working on maybe taking over that lot too. That's it from the front. We decided to leave the rotting stump because I really wanted to plant some plants in that guy. And it is amazing soil. And then we have them push the old albizias as a berm in the front. So that way people can't drive cars and pe keep them on there and store junk on our property. But it turned out way better than we wanted. Went from pretty much that thick jungle to this. They're gonna come get their machine this morning. Left it here overnight. His wife even stayed the night with the machine. So they're really cute people, but. I love how it turned out. Now we're gonna start the blueprints for building. Hi guys, so I'm picking you back up at the lot. We've been here a little bit planning the gate we wanna put in. And I planted my gardenia and we're just kind of playing around. Made a little plant box there. I got my coconuts in the ground. But while we were here, we heard one of these giant albizias explode. The block over so we're gonna go take a look at that in a little bit but we're just kind of finishing planning and getting ready for the fence and gate i wanted to show you guys Maybe cinder so there. nice yeah we might need some cinder here in the front but yeah that's where we're at i'll show you guys the work it's a little plant this is just a large collection of rocks we're going to use to 
build a rock wall from there, kind of up into height. Composting wall. Well, yeah, it's a composting wall, kind of like those um, Norwegian gardens, I guess. You put the stumps in and let the dirt cover it. But we're building up kind of a rock base so that it will cover, sorry, my hand made it blurry. Um, but you can see the start to it. It will take a long time. These rocks are heavy. I got my coconut palm there, there, and up there. I used a mixture of this natural compost and rotten stumps and potting soil, so they should do great. But this is what it looks like. But we're gonna call it a night, get showered, we're all nasty, and pick it up when we're here building the fence. Probably Maybe. next video, building the fence. This time, we're probably ending it, so. See ya.